Levin, right wing radio host, is gonna flip out on air and scream, but what's more entertaining is that he got everything he says dead wrong. I see our president of the United States is going full Marxist. Ah. Ah. Redistribution of wealth. Oh yes, we gotta we gotta equalize income. How dare he? Every country that tries that destroys wealth. Every country that tries that it's spreads bullshit. misery. False. Every country that tries that is regressive. And more than that, the people lose their liberty. Oh, we need to increase the minimum wage. The minimum wage. Yeah, let's increase it from seven and a half bucks to nine and a half bucks. Well, if you can't live on seven and a half bucks an hour, you can't live on nine and a half bucks an hour. Nine is better. The issue is not increasing the minimum wage. The issue is creating opportunity in a society. And the way you create opportunity in a society has nothing to do with big government. <laughs> with some law that Congress passes. It's absurd. Our great so-called middle class, which is a Marxist term, but we'll play along. <laughs> our great middle class wasn't created by the New Deal. It wasn't created by the minimum wage. It was created before the New Deal and the minimum wage. Nonsense. In fact, uh, the golden age of economic expansion, as it's called in the U.S. by historians, uh, is from after the Great Depression, so when uh, FDR came in and did the New Deal, right, from roughly about 1940 to about the mid-1970s. That's considered the golden age of economic expansion. It was after we had the New Deal protections, after we regulated Wall Street and the, and the banks and the marketplace, uh, and after we had you know strong labor unions in the U.S., strong worker protections, that's when we created a middle class that was the envy of the world. He said, not before! Before FDR was great! Ah! Actually, Mark, before FDR, there was this little thing called the Great Depression, you dumbass! Look, it was the deregulatory po policies and the conservative economics, which Mark Levin loves, that uh, were put into place in the 1900s and the 19-teens that led to the crash of 1929 and then the Great Depression. And by the way, you don't even need to go back that far to see that Mark Levin's ideology doesn't work. All you have to do is look at the repeal of Glass-Steagall under Bill Clinton in 1999, huge deregulation, and then also the deregulation put on steroids under the George W. Bush administration. What happened there? The subprime mortgage crisis in 2007 and 2008, the Great, Reces Great Recession, excuse me. How do you not know this? I mean, and then also, I mean, this guy is just hilarious because uh, every country that tries that fails. Well, first of all, let's just get the Marxist bullshit out of the way. Uh, Marxism or communism is uh, government control of everything, no private property. Yeah, there's not a single progressive or liberal or Democrat in the country who is anywhere near communism or Marxism. We're not in the same area code. We're not in the same uh, state. We're not in the same country. We're not in the same galaxy, solar system, universe, whatever. Okay, 91% of the jobs in the U.S. economy under President Obama, Mr. Marxist, they're uh, capitalist, either small business or big business. Only 9% of the jobs are government jobs. Yeah, big time, big time communist or Marxist. He has a funny way of showing it if he is one. Uh, and then when he says every country that tries that fails, talking about, you know, raising the minimum wage, doing uh, progressive policies, Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, the countries that have embraced the most progressive policies, so having strong unionization laws, strong worker protections, raising the minimum wage, having a nice standard of living, a living wage, uh, those places do the best in the world. And I'm talking specifically about the Scandinavian region, right? Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, Finland, Greenland. That area there, everybody has health care, everybody has universal education, um, everybody has a high standard of living, there's strong... Uh, social safety net if you fall onto hard times. They also, by the way, have tremendously low unemployment. They have uh, a, one, the biggest sovereign trust fund in the world, I believe, is in um, Denmark. So they don't add to their debt or deficit. They're, that situation is probably better than ours is here in the U.S. 
uh, they have low unemployment, they have a higher standard of living, so what's the problem? The problem is that, Mar in Mark Levin's mind, it, he just disregards reality, disregards facts. And see, the thing about these guys, they care more, Mark Levin cares more about being a, a purist and an ideologue. So in other words, give me the policies I want and then I will pretend like the results are perfect and better and, and brilliant. Uh, but if you give me the policies I don't like, even if I can, even if I can see in the numbers and you can objectively prove to me that that system is better, I'm still going to be against it. Why? Because I'm Mark Levin and I pretend like talking about looking after the middle class and the poor, talking about that is Marxist.